It's me, Chelsea from Hello Cheney, here to bring you a fall makeup tutorial. It is fall inspired, it's gold, it is kind of burgundy, and of course we have our bold fall lip, which we of course can't live without. Um, I will tell you exactly how to get this makeup look. All you gotta do is keep watching. So my face is already primed and ready for foundation, but before I do foundation, I'm going to do my eye look. Um, because I just don't want the fallout to ruin my foundation. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I've been using the shade Light. It is a little too light for me, but I've been making it work. Blend that in. Okay, and I'm just going to set that real quick with my MAC Pro Emphasize Powder. For today's fall eye look, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette because I think it has some gorgeous colors for fall in here. Really, really fun palette to play with with a lot of pigmentation. So we're going to start with the color Safe Word, and I'm just going to take it on a large fluffy brush, the color Safe Word, which is this just neutral um, kind of tan color. Just buff that into the crease. Perfect. So then I'm actually going to go in also with the color Charm, which is the oranger, orange, the orange color. It's not more orange than any other color. It's just orange. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Buff that into the crease, focusing most of the color on the outside corner, and then flicking it into the middle, blending it out until. You don't have any more lines. For the inner corner to the center of the lid, I'm going to use the color Frosting, which is this gold color right here. And I'm going to spritz it with um, some of my Maybelline Master Fix spray, just to get, give that a little more chrome effect metallic -y eye look. So we're going to take this color Dominatrix, which is like a burgundy brown color, and we're going to concentrate that color on the outer portion of the eyelid. I'm just kind of dabbing and swirling until it's all blend it out and blends into that gold color. So now I'm actually going to go in with a liquid liner. I'm going to do my regular NYX liquid liner. Um, the NYX Epic Ink Liner, um, this is just in the shade black. I'm going to do a quick wing. This is seriously my favorite ink liner. It is so pretty, it goes on so black, and it stays on all day. NYX is the key. I'm going to be putting on lashes off camera. I'll be coating my lashes with the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, and I'm going to be using the Boudoir Light Lashes from House of Lashes, and I'll put them on off camera, and I will be back after that. Okay. I'm going in with my old faithful, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's my favorite. It just, it just is. Guys, go get you some. I know Wet n Wild, it shouldn't be good, but it is. I can't explain it. It's just life. And it is a little dark for me right now though, so everybody be cool when my face is a little darker than my neck. I'm going to try to blend it down. OK, 
Okay, so then I'm going to go in with some concealer. Like I said, my um, Tarte Shape Tape is a little light for me right now, so I like to uh, make it a little bit darker with my Master Conceal by Maybelline. Um, this is the 30 Light Medium color, and so I will put this under my eyes. And then I also put it on my nose, my forehead, just to lighten that up. And whoever else needs lightening or concealing. And then I will also take my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light, and I will put just a little bit under my eyes and the actual right closer to the center under the inner corners. As always, I'm going to set my under eye with my um, MAC Pro Emphasize Powder, just genuinely right underneath. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I can't stand to look at my eyebrows like this anymore, so let's fill those in. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. Um, this is the triangular tip one. There are two different ones. I've been I've been liking this one just because it covers a lot more area faster. Since our brows are done, feeling a lot better about my look. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some under eye. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and go in and fix my under eyes. So I'm going to take Dominatrix, this like brownish red. I'm just putting that right underneath. The last two thirds ish, I am using the um, Dominatrix, just kind of patting that with a smaller little brush. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and take Charm, the orange, and I'm going to buff that out. I'm kind of pulling down so that it smokes everything out downward um, rather than blends it in. And I'm going to take more of the frosting, the gold color, and put it in the first third part of my under eye if that makes sense. So we did two thirds with the dominatrix and blended down and then now I'm going to take the frosting and do the first, the inner third. And we're going to coat our bottom lashes with mascara. Again, I'm using the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. I love how a look comes together after you do bottom mascara. I also said that about the eyebrows. Everything's important, people. So now we're gonna bronze the face. I'm using my trusty NYX um, in the shade Deep. NYX Matte Bronzer. I'm going in with MAC Margin for blush, trusty um, everyday blush that I've been using for this look. I'm going to be using my new Kylie highlight that I got the other day. It's a Kylie lighter. Um, press Illuminating Powder in the shade French Vanilla. This has been a really good go-to. I will say when I did first get it, I learned that you kind of have to scrape off the top layer before you get any sort of pigmentation, and that is definitely the case. 
I had to kind of rub it with my brush before I got into like something that would actually illuminate my face. So just a tip if you do end up getting one of these, that's something that I had learned from another YouTuber. So got to share the wealth, you know. Um, so I'm going to put it on my nose and um, I'm actually also going to use it to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner of my eye look. So that takes care of everything. The only thing we have left to do is the lips. And of course we all want a nice dark fall lip. Um, it's hard to find a good fall lip in the fall um, that really works for you. And this is actually an affordable option that I have found has been working for me and staying on my lips whenever I do this. So I start by using a lip liner. This is the Kiss Professional New York Luxury Intense Lip Liner. Um, and it is in the shade dark brown. So I'm going to start by lining my lips with this. Okay, so I line and fill in my lips with this lip liner to the best of my abilities, of course, because this isn't like our actual color, but I feel like the more I fill in with liner and they and it's underneath the liquid lipstick, it actually stays a lot longer, um, if that makes sense. So I use this to start, and then the color I am going in with over that is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I just have a little one. Um, but it is in the shade Club Hopper, and I think with the brown, it creates the perfect fall lip. Once you have done that, you're going to want to do the finger test and just make sure you get all of the inside out so that you don't have lipstick on your teeth because that's a real bummer when you have someone tell you that you have lipstick on your teeth. So just be, you know, wary of that when you wear this the whole night. Um, I'm going to set my face. And this is your final look. It's the perfect fall look, nice and golden. You don't necessarily have to use um, all of these shadows or you don't have to do a smoky eye. I know with a bold lip, a lot of people like to do a more neutral eye and I am totally on board with that. I think I just wore that yesterday to brunch. So I, I get it, completely up to you. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, and of course, as always, keep making the world beautiful. Bye.